Okay, first of all, give it up for Killian Murphy. Come on. The UNESCO Child and Family Research Centre is very interested in hearing about what young people think, what they have to say, how they see the world, and many boring adults like me who do research write reports that nobody reads, including boring adults like me. So one of the things we're trying to do is get young people as researchers to research with other young people how they see the world, how they see their parents' world, how they see their community, and what they have to say about it. Killian got it immediately, and we're really thrilled that he's patron of the centre here, and he does all of this work for us, promoting what we do, helping us in what we do, but most important, he gets it about youth researchers, and that's what tonight is about. I think it's a very important thing that young people are given a voice and that, you know, that we don't talk down to young people, but we sort of learn from them. It's a very uh, movie that touches on subjects, but like everybody relates to in some way. They've so. dealt with like yeah. illnesses at home or like so mental illnesses and like physical illnesses with people. So I think it's one that nearly every person relates to or yeah. Yeah. to yeah. at some point. Uh, yeah, I think everybody has that experience, don't they, of like you know feeling like they're not being listened to. I was very taken with the the whole philosophy of the centre and, and the, the idea behind it and uh, you know I remember being young girl <laughs> uh, and what it entails and uh, I, I just like the idea of you know listening to young people and having young people like telling us what it's all about because you know we you do know a lot even though sometimes you think you know everything but <laughs> no we are you know so it's, I just think it's it's a it's a great way to, to, to have a dialogue between young people and adults and give you know some uh, empowerment to young people there's a clear adult versus child division well divided in this movie uh, the children's perspective is very much represented did you have to think back to your own childhood to remember it or did you take it from your children yeah, it's a bit of both, really. It's a, you remember being a young fella and you remember... I think the film deals a lot with that period in, in, in a young person's life or a young adult or a young teenager where they kind of realise that actually, the, you know, adults really don't know anything or don't know as much as we, we you know, we, we, we thought that they did or they let on that they do. I think it's also slightly about the sort of... And if that is the end of innocence, perhaps that is what the end of innocence means. Uh, um, so yeah, you take it from your from from your own experiences, and you take it from this. The script is really the primary source of sort of research, I suppose. Uh, your own experiences, and yeah, and my kids and everything else. And I do think encouraging talk and openness mm. is very important uh, among young people. All I know is that it's something that's worth promoting. Is you know highlighting how smart and how insightful young people can be, and uh, I think you know. Having young people as researchers is a very clever uh, thing to do because you get insight that you wouldn't get from, I think, adults. And you know, they're they're the next generation, and they're going to be governing us and making the laws and uh, writing the books and making the films. So it's important that we engage.